Hello, my name is Jackie Kay and I'm Chancellor of the University of Salford and also the Scottish Macker or the National Poet of Scotland. For years I've been coming to Manchester Literature Festival and I really admire the whole festival. I admire its ethos, I admire the way that you support activists and political thinkers as well as writers, writers known and less well known. I admire the way that you support writers in translation. I admire your Manchester sermon. I think the events have a great buzz and energy to them and I've been at so many over the years. I've loved doing events myself, often with my dear friend Ali Smith, they've been fantastic events. I've also loved attending events like the Manchester Sermon, which have given me food for thought for, for a very, very long time. Well, it's upsetting to me that you're in danger now and I would really love anybody who supports you and literature, new writing and writers around the world to dig a wee bit into your pocket and pay the price of a drink or the price of a theatre ticket or anything that you could actually afford and go on the website www.manchesterliteraturefestival.co.uk. Cheers. Thank you very much. Um, welcome to this Manchester Literature Festival event with Anadran Darwish, Atef Al Shaya, and Paul Batchelor, presented in partnership with the Poetry Translation Centre and Manchester Poetry Library. My name is Martin Kratz, and I'm the project manager at Manchester Poetry Library at Manchester Metropolitan University. Manchester Poetry Library and the Poetry Translation Centre have run a number of events together from workshops to readings, the most recent being the Manchester stage of the tour of Ribka Sibato's uh, Aula Aula Aula. There are estimated to be 200 languages spoken in Manchester and it's the aim of the Manchester Poetry Library to have books and recordings and activities in as many uh, of these languages as possible, if not all of them. Events such as these are really important part of that in identifying books for the library and opening up conversations about poetry in and across different languages. And I'm really excited today to welcome our three readers. So allow me to introduce uh, for this special event uh, celebrating the publication of Embrace. Natran Darwish is a Palestinian poet born in Jerusalem. He published his first book of poetry in 2000 and has been an important literary figure ever since. He's published eight books in Arabic in total. The New York Review of Books, which published the English translation of his collection, Nothing to Lose, in 2014, described him as one of the foremost Arabic language poets of his generation. And Embrace is a selection of his recent work and showcases the variety of his lyric talent. Although he's no stranger to being translated, as his work has been translated into over 20 languages. Working with him on this project have been Atef al Shair and Paul Batchelor. Atef is a senior lecturer in Arabic studies at the University of Westminster. He's the author of several publications in the fields of language, literature and politics, including poetry and politics in the modern Arab world, and A Map of Absence, an anthology of Palestinian writing on the Nakba. He is respectively the editor and author of two forthcoming volumes, Love and Poetry in the Middle East and Language and National Identity in Palestine, Representations of Power and Resistance in Gaza. He also writes and translates poetry and he's been an active translator for the Poetry Translation Center since 2008. And working with him on this translation is Paul Batchelor, whose first book, The Sinking Road, was published by Blood Axe, and in 2014, he published a chapbook, The Love Dog, with Clutag. His poetry has appeared in numerous anthologies and recent poems were published in the London Review of Books and Poetry. He's won a number of prizes for his work, including the Time Stephen Spender Prize for translation, for his translation of a section from Dante's Inferno, 
And his work as a translator first came to my attention with his translations of several of Röcke's poems. He's director of creative writing at Durham University. Thank you, Martin, for the introduction. Uh, thank you all. It's a great to, to see you all in this uh, day. Um, تنويع على بيت المعرض جسدي زرقة نسيتها السماوات وبستان فر من الربيع جسدي زرقة نسيتها السماوات وبستان فر من الربيع يا خائط العوالم ما ضرك لو لم تخطني Variation on a line by Al Mari my body is a blue the sky has long forgotten. My body is a garden lost to the spring. You, tailor of the universe, what would be lost by not sowing me? Rinaq Murtabikun wa mubellalun Yadi tamazzakat wa hiya tuhawilu mu'anakata jibalin wa widyanin wa suhul والبحر الذي أحببته أغرقني مرارا وما كان جسد العاشق صار جثة تطفو على المياه مرتبك ومبلل جثتي هي الأخرى تمد ذراعها مستميتة لعناق البحر الذي أغرقها Embrace Confused with through my hands torn, reaching to embrace mountains, valleys, and plains, and the sea that I loved, that drowned me over and over. The body of the lover has become a corpse, a float on the water, confused, wet through. My corpse also stretches out its arms, clutching to embrace the sea that it drowns it. في مهرجان شعري أمام كل شاعر اسم بلاده ولم يكن وراء اسمي سوى جيروسالم كم هو مرعب اسمك يا بلاد الصغيرة التي لم يبق لي سوى اسمها أنام وأستيقظ فيه اسمها الذي مثل سفينة لا أمل لها بالوصول ولا بالرجوع لا تصل ولا ترجع لا تصل ولا تغرق At a poetry festival In front of each poet their country's name Next to my name nothing but Jerusalem How frightening your name must be my little country Nothing remains of you but the name I sleep and I wake with it, your name, like a boat with no hope of arrival or return. It neither arrives nor returns. It neither arrives nor drowns. Al-Lusus. Al-Lusus kanu yasrikuna aghnaman. Samirtu al-Lusus kanu yasrikuna aghnaman wa dahaban. Samirtu an wahidin saraku zawjata. وكثر سرقت محافظهم وسياراتهم لكن من يصدقني حين أقول إن بلادي بجبالها وبحرها بسمائها الزرقاء بقرى سكنها الله واحدة واحدة من يصدقني حين أقول إنها سرقت The thieves The thieves used to steal sheep and gold I heard I heard about one man, they stole his wife, and others whose wallets and cars were stolen. But who would believe me when I say that my country, with its mountains and sea, its blue sky, and its villages that God has visited one by one, who believes me when I say that they have been stolen? وجه صديق وجه صديق
وجه صديق على رف تاريخ وجه صديق الى جون فيرجل قصيده مهمه وجه صديق على رف تاريخ الفن في مكتبه غريبه وجه صديق وجه صديق من ايام بيوت من حجر من ايام صيف القرى من تلك الارض التي قطعت وريدك منذ زمن لم تعد تتذكره تلك الارض التي دفنتك وبعثتك مرارا واحيانا كانت تدفنك ولا تبعث واحيانا كنت تتوسل اليها ان تدفن ما هو تاريخ الفن اصلا ان لم يكن وجه صديق The face of a friend for John Berger The face of a friend on a shelf of art history books in a strange library The face of a friend from days when the house was made of stone from days when the village was made of summer from land that cut you off at the wrist in a time you no longer remember land that buried you and resurrected you buried you and resurrected you and sometimes it buried you without resurrecting you and sometimes you begged it to bury you what is the history of art if not the face of a friend انا شبح واعرف عما اتحدث خطر لي بينما الأمطار تساقط فوق أشجار آسيوية أسفل سور الصين بينما نحن هناك نشرب الشاي وننصت ناعسين لقصائد بعضنا خطر لي أن أقول لهم نحن أشباح ها هنا تتجمع الأشباح لتتدفأ تسير في جماعات لتعرف أنها تسير في جماعات لأنها تعرف أنها ليست من الجماعة أنا شبح وأعرف عما أتحدث خطر لي وكتمت الخاطرة فالأشباح تعرف هذا ولا تحب أن تسمعه من أحد الأشباح تحاول أن تنسى وحين تلتقي في جماعات فهي تلتقي لتنسى تشرب الشاي وتقرأ القصائد على مسامع بعضها لتنسى نحن الآن أسفل سور الصين والأمطار والأمطار تساقط الشاي يوشك أن ينتهي وكذلك القصائد أنا شبح وأعرف عما أتحدث I'm a ghost and I know what I'm talking about It occurred to me as rain was falling on the trees by the great wall of China where we were drinking tea and listening sleepily to each other's poems. It occurred to me to tell them we are ghosts here. Ghosts gather together to keep warm. They walk in groups, for they know they don't belong. I am a ghost, and I know what I'm talking about. It occurred to me but I suppress the thought. Ghosts know this already. They don't like to hear anyone speak of it. Ghosts try to forget. And when they meet in groups, they meet to forget. They drink tea and recite poems to each other to forget. We are here now by the Great Wall of China. Rain is falling, and our tea is about to end. The poem as well. I'm a ghost, and I know what I'm talking about.